Today we're taking things outside the studio and check this guy out. It's a black rat snake. All right, so today on Talking Reptiles, we have a black rat snake. We found them here in this tree. Black rat snakes are one of our largest snakes in New York. They can reach lengths of nearly eight feet long and sometimes bigger. This is a good sized snake. And as you can tell, they are also excellent climbers. Don't just look on the ground for snakes. Rat snakes are known to go 20, 30 feet up in the trees. And they are excellent climbers. And look at the way he's using his coils. It's a balancing act, even out his body on this thin branch side to side. And as he goes higher in the tree, he'll use his chin to grip the next branch the same way we use our hand gripping the next rung on a ladder. But this guy's coming down low. Let's see if we can get him out with a little gentle handling. Hopefully he responds well. One of the coolest things about black rat snakes is they're also one of the easiest going wild snakes you're gonna run into. You corner one or scare him, he will bite in self-defense. But normally with just a little gentle handling, they drop the attitude once they realize you're not a major threat. And that's really cool because I see a lot of people who tell me they go into their shed and they see the big black extension cord and then it starts to move. These should be a welcomed animal in your property or on your shed because as their name implies rat snake, they eat a bunch of rodents. And that's really important in keeping rodent populations under control. They do a lot of damage. Instead of fearing the black rat snake, it should be a welcome part of our property. Now on this occasion, we of course found him in a tree. In addition to feeding on rodents, black rat snakes will also eat birds. They'll climb up trees, get baby birds out of the nest. They're capable of constricting a larger bird and swallowing that. And they've even been known to swallow eggs whole. And that's not a problem. Eggshells made out of calcium. That's one way he makes sure that he can keep his bones nice and strong as he'll digest the shell as well as whatever is inside. So let's go ahead and see if we can get him back in his tree. Let him go back looking for his dinner. And uh, remember, you're watching Talking Reptiles with myself, Mark Perpetua from Reptile Encounters and my good friend from Hudson Valley Reptile Rescue.